Our weights are always optional. You don't have to use the weights. The moves are good even without the weights. Today, we're gonna do, the weight is gonna be on your right leg, and here comes a bicep curl. Let's start with a heel lift. So this would be a calf raise and a bicep curl. Lift the heel and bring it down. This is for your calf, your lower leg, and then we have the bicep curl as you lift and lower. There's your up and your down. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Now, I'm going to be adding on, it's going to be a knee lift, if it works for you, and a side raise. So now we're going to lift the knee and lift to the side. So a little bit of coordination, right? Because our arms and legs are going in different directions. Lots of strength there, lots of core. So if lifting the knee does not work for you, you can keep the calf raise. We're doing five more here. Here's your five. Now I have my elbow bent because it's less stressful than when I have my arm out straight and the elbow leads on the way up. Two more here. One more time. And now you can set this weight. Left weight is on your thigh. Bicep curl here. First, it's a heel lift. Up and bring it down. Up and bring it down. Up, half raise, bicep curl. One of our goals is to sit up tall too and stay stable. We avoid rocking side to side, leaning, all that good stuff. Sit up tall and yes, it takes core. Here's the knee lift and the side raise if it works. But remember you could keep just a heel, or you lift up. Like I said, I have my elbow bent. If you want it more challenging, you strain out the arm. We try to stay centered. You have four to go, you're almost there. Here's four, three, two, one more time. And now take one weight in each hand. We're gonna do tricep press backs. Take your palms up, or your palms are facing in, arms up. Little lean forward, but pull the belly in. And now you press your elbows back. This is for your tricep. So I want you to think press back with the back of the upper arm. There is your press back with the upper arm. We press back, press back. Five more like this. Now we're trying to strengthen the back of the upper arm. Two more to go. I'm adding on from here. Keep your arms straight. Have your palms face the ceiling. Add a little lift and lift. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, to bring yourself up tall, have your arms by your side, shoulder shrug, shrug up, shrug down. Remember, this is shoulder blades. Don't just think the shoulders touch your ears. We do that all day long. Let's move our shoulder blades up our back and then push them into your back pocket. Take them up. Slide them down. That's mobility of your shoulder blades. That helps keep us mobile in our upper back. Two more times here. One more time. Lean forward. Go into some rows. I usually start with rows today. I'm tucking them in a little bit later. It feels different when you change the order. Here it comes. So we worked our arms, which means you might need to really focus on using your back more to lift and lower your arms. We have 10 to go here. There's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two. Bring yourself all the way up, overhead press. Now my palms face front when I do this, you press up. Now I also press a little bit diagonal. That's different than pressing straight up over my head. It's a little diagonal, feels better for my shoulders. There's your push and bring it down. Five to go here. There's five, four, three, two. We bring our arms down, take a little shoulder roll. And I'm adding one more shoulder exercise. This is when we take our thumbs diagonal, lift up and away. It takes core. I bring this in, upper back strengthener, shoulder strengthener, but I want you to think of the movement originating in the upper back. Let's really get strong. Our weights are going away from our body. That means use your core. Can you focus on upper back, engage the core, and of course, breathe. So if you decided to hold your breath, exhale, it's good for you. Two more to go. One more time. And then when you finish this, we're gonna stretch out the arm. You can take your left weight, set it on your thigh just to relax it. Lean off to the right, add some circles. Now I'm using the weight as an extra way to stretch out the neck, the shoulder, the arm, change direction. I used to do this all the time without the weight. Um, the weight just seems to add a little extra, um, you know, pull, like relaxation to it. Bring it up. Here comes the other side. Here's your little circles. And again, they don't have to be big. We're starting to stretch. We're starting to relax, let everything go. Change direction, take it around in the other direction. Well, carefully set the weights underneath your chair. I'm gonna take it off to the side. We're gonna start with my, I call it one of my go-to stretches. The arm comes behind. Where you place your hand depends on where it works. You drop the left arm, you drop your left ear. And then you relax and feel the stretch. It's just a great opener for your chest, your shoulder, and your neck. Relax it. Lift the head, relax the right arm. Left arm is coming behind. Once you get the arm, you drop the ear. And there's that exhale. Let your shoulders relax. Lift the head, take the arm down. Now take the right arm, reach it across the front. Now we're gonna stretch out our tricep, our shoulder, switch sides, left arm comes across. This is your option one. You can keep the arm straight. I'm making it a little bit bigger this time. Arm comes across. You can bend, grab your shoulder and lift, make it a little bit bigger. So I'm stretching the shoulder, the tricep here. And then you switch sides. Now you could keep it straight. I'm gonna grab my shoulder, add a little extra here. Now you open your arms to the side and you're gonna make fist and bring the fist behind you. Sit up tall. Now I have my fist resting on my low back. Add a little twist to the right. Take a little twist to the left. Reach to the back of your chair, lift your chest, let the chin touch the ceiling. Look straight ahead, take your hands to your lap, lean forward, take a big stretch right here. Feel that stretch through your back, really lengthen, reach through the top of your head. Bring yourself up, take your feet out wide, come down to your forearms. Reach the right arm up and over, stretch the side of the body. Now think length, and now foot walks out. There's your bigger stretch, get long. 
leg comes in, we switch sides, arm goes around, foot goes out, and there's your big stretch. Slide the leg in, and now with the feet a little wider, feel free to go a little bit lower if you want. We're adding a big twist here. Right hand's going against the right thigh. Left arm goes up. Only do this if it's appropriate for you. Switch sides. Left arm against your left thigh. Fingertips go up. Right here, bring yourself back to center. Slowly bring yourself all the way up. Hug the right knee in. Give yourself a big hug. Now I'm taking this into a cross. We're gonna cross our legs. Not for everybody. You might cross at your ankles if you cross at all. You might cross here. I am gonna take mine a little bigger, but you're gonna cross where it works for you. Sit up really tall, turn your head, look behind you with your eyes. Take everything to the front and you're gonna reach out here comes hug. I'm starting with the hug. Once you're there, if it works to get that leg all the way over, go for it. If it doesn't work, pick one of the other options. Add your twist. Bring yourself to the front. Uncross your legs. Right leg slides out in front. It's your hamstring stretch. I like to stay up higher. If you like to reach down further, go for it. Reach, reach, reach through the top of your head. Start bringing yourself all the way up. Switch sides. Leg goes out. Add your lean forward. Slide yourself up. Now we are gonna stretch out the quadricep. I've been coming off the front of my chair. You can take it off the side of your chair. Where this leg goes just depends on your hip. I'm gonna slide mine back a little bit further. That doesn't mean you want to. You're gonna find where you get that stretch down the leg, the hip. Remember to breathe if you start holding your breath. Relax the arm, slide it in. We have the other side to go. Take it off to the other side. If that's sliding um, over on your chair, there is the arm up. If you want it, the arm going up increases the stretch. And again, nice little exhale, lengthen the leg down. Relax the arm, relax the leg, bring yourself Back to the front, hands are on your lap. It's a cow cat, lift your chest, inhale. Drop your chin to your chest, round, exhale. Do that one more time. We sit up tall, here comes the stretch. Next stretch, look over your right shoulder. Let your shoulders relax. Turn your eyes a little further back behind you. Now bring everything to the front, turn your head to the left. Once your head's to the left, let your eyes go back further. Have everything return back to the front. Drop your chin to your chest. Lift your chin to the ceiling. Look straight ahead, one more big shoulder roll. Here are your inhale, big inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, blow it out. Two more of these, reach up, take a big inhale. Blow it out, exhale, one more time. It's your inhale and your exhale. Thank you all very much.